Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace, so if you need a website or a domain, then head over to squarespace.com forward slash Will's Whereabouts to save 10%. Today, we are going to be trying to start on the flooring. This is overkill, but I've not got anything else. Cross your toes, cross your bollocks, cross your boobs, cross your fingers. I'm just royally cocked up. Oh, this is the moment of truth. Do these two rear parts meet in the middle and create a lovely relationship. If you've been watching the last few videos, then you will have seen this is the stage where we're at now. I've sound deadened pretty much the entire van, sides and the ceiling. I've got a reverse camera installed, which I'm actually gonna take out pretty soon and replace it for something a little bit better. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is cut up and apply exactly the same sound deadening strips that I used in the previous video and lay some of them out on the flooring just to help with a bit of the sound deadening when I'm driving. This way of doing the floor, I don't know if it's correct. There are so many different ways to do your van floor. Some people will sound dead on the floor, some people won't. This is just the way I'm doing it, so there's really no right or wrong answer. Okay, so I've just finished sound deadening the floor, and now I want to quickly explain and show to you how I'm going to be doing the main flooring and exactly the products that I'm going to use. Initially what I wanted to do was get a 25 millimeter batten, stick them on these ribs and then insulate the floor with some 25 millimeter Celotex to fill in the gaps. However, my biggest priority in this van is to be able to fully stand up. With absolutely nothing on the floor, standing on the ribs of the base, I literally have, what's that, probably about two inches from my head to the top of the ceiling. I am going to be using this. This again is from Dodo Mat, the company where I got the sound deadening. Just rip my trousers again. So what this is, is a 6.8 meter, not 6.8 meter, 6.8 millimeter thick butyl rubber. So what I'm gonna be doing is laying this out all along the floor, because this will be the only way that I can really insulate the floor. And then on top of this will be oh, a 12 meter board of ply. And I'm not quite decided yet how I'm gonna stick the ply down, whether I'm going to either screw through the van or glue it down. I'm unsure of that yet, but we'll figure that out once I've got this insulation on the floor. So this is the method that I'm gonna be doing the floor in. As I said, there's no right or wrong answer. I'm going with this way purely for height reasons because I want to be able to stand up fully. Otherwise, I might as well have just stayed in the galaxy. The sound deadening insulation is done to the floor. We've pretty much covered as much as we can. A few gaps and stuff like that, which we need to fill in. But I've just gone and bought some aluminium tape. And this on a van conversion is a lifesaver because it covers up any gaps and any discrepancies. So all of these little ones like here and here where they, uh, they join together, just gonna tape it up and cover it with some aluminium tape. And then it should look like a pretty professional job.
Today is a big day and a monumentous moment on this van build because I'm finally gonna be putting some wood down inside the van. I can't lie to you, I've been absolutely dreading doing this job and absolutely pooing my pants, having nightmares of trying to uh, work out the best way to do it. But we're gonna go and pick up some 12 millimeter lengths of ply and then I will run through the process of how I'm gonna be laying this flooring and uh, how I'm gonna be cutting the shapes and objects to fit around the wheel arches and just the odd curvatures of the van. That's what I'm most scared about because I've never really cut wood to specific shapes. I did it in the Galaxy when I first had it and I cut the flooring out. That didn't exactly go to plan. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I quit. <laughs> A big thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Squarespace are an all-in-one website building platform that really do make creating a website simple and easy to do. Whether you're creating a blogging page, setting up an online shop, or a portfolio to share your work, or you simply need a website domain, Squarespace makes it all very stress-free and can help you on your way. They offer guides and videos to help you get started and webinars so you can learn more and master creating your dream website. They offer a free trial so you can have a play around and test out their services, and when you're ready to commit, you can head over to squarespace.com forward slash wheels whereabouts to save 10%. So we've just gone and picked up three sheets of 12 millimeter ply. Decided to go for, it's called Q-Mark ply because that is what the guy at the shop recommended. Apparently it's class three. Some of you will probably know what that means. I was deciding on whether to go for marine ply or hardwood, but he recommended this Q-Make ply. It cost 134 pounds for three sheets cost an arm and a leg wasn't expecting it to be that much but at least then I'll have a strong foundation and I believe this is also water resistant you want this side yeah this side up so we asked the guys at the shop to cut it the rough length and the width of the van sorry not length but now here comes the fun part because I'm gonna have to scribe out the shape of the van here to obviously push it up to cover up the gap and we've uh, come up with an intuitive design, which I'll show you in a second. I'll be honest, I'm finding this very difficult to explain to you what exactly we're doing because we're winging it and we're just learning this on the go. But basically what we're trying to do is make a scribing tool so that we can follow the shape of the van and trace it onto the piece of wood. <laughs> Come on, boy. Right, we've just made the Nimbus 2000 of the scribing tools. That's not just a broomstick, Harry. It's a Nimbus 2000. We've drilled one hole through the end of this. What is this? One by one, probably? God knows. The thickness of this. So then our little pencil will go in the end here. Should do. And then we've drilled another hole from the furthest distance of the van shape to our piece of plywood. That doesn't make sense, I'll cut that out. And then we're gonna stick this pencil through here, which is gonna help us mark the shape of the van. It's gonna make a lot more sense when I show you and put it into practice. This is honestly like dumb and dumber. <laughs> oh God, I'd love to explain to you how and why and what I'm doing this with, but it's too difficult when I don't really understand it myself. So it's trial and error and figuring it out as we go. Hold it 90 degrees still. <laughs> Look at this mechanism. <laughs> oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. That's got a good line though. Yeah, that's nice. Where is it? Top. Let me put some goggles on, otherwise I'll get it in the comments. Blue line. This is overkill, but I've not got anything else. In life, if you don't commit, you'll never know. I can't see with this thing. It won't go fully in there. 
this is the first cut that we've done so we're just going to start trimming off these edges here and hopefully once we've done that it should fit in quite nicely it's definitely going to need a bit of a trim cross your toes cross your bollocks cross your boobs cross your fingers because this is now probably the eighth time that we've taken it in and out to try and make it fit. But as I've been saying every time, I think this is the one. I think it's going to go in. Uh, I'm not getting my hopes up just yet. This is the best that we could get it. Pretty flush to the edge. On the two next pieces for the rear of the van, we're going to be a little bit braver and actually cut to where we mark it with the blue line because on this one, we kind of cut a slight overhang just because I was too scared to take too much off. Then obviously we've wasted the wood. I don't think being a carpenter or a joiner is for me. Not too bad for a first attempt. Gonna have to trim off a bit there. How's it looking that side? Well, so that, that's it parallel though. A little bit more trimming and then hopefully that should slot in. We're not here to f spiders, that is. <laughs> <laughs> that is bagger on the buddy. Tiny. Oh yeah, look at that. Take a look at this masterpiece. <laughs> Ignore this slight gap here. You know, only a finger, but don't worry about that. We all have a finger. Anyway, <laughs> and then it's nice and flush here. Then we come round, follow beautiful shape. Look at that. Uh, and then please do ignore this. I'm not exactly sure what that was, but not too bad. We are flush here. Happy days. We've just flipped over the same ply sheet that was on this side to try and replicate it on the other side. And it's pretty much identical. So we're just gonna copy and trace this one onto the last ply sheet that we've got and then make a few adjustments and then we should be there. just royally cocked up my main piece of flooring royally royally cocked it up I knew I shouldn't have touched it I just wanted to take like three millimeters just a slither off but what I've done I didn't screw this down tight enough so as I was pushing this moved in and out and now I've absolutely butchered my end piece. Fucking hell. If I'd only stayed on the line which I started with, this would have been exactly how I wanted it. Oh! What I was trying to do was cut it flush here. But as you can see, oh man, that, that looks awful. Am I gonna have to cut a whole new piece? and template it again. I thought today was going to be the day where I could actually get this flooring stuck down. Right, I'm going to get that mistake out of my head and focus on trimming down and fitting the last two pieces at the back. This next piece here, which I'm gonna trim down, is crucial that I get this measurement right because I do not want a gap down the middle here. Fucking hell. 
Oh, shit. I've just cut through the bloody table. Oh my God. I was wondering why this was all coming out black. Oh man, oh man, oh man. This is the moment of truth. Do these two rear parts meet in the middle and create a lovely relationship? Please, 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 come on, come on, please. This is the gap that I've got here, probably about two or three mil. I'm not sure if this is me just being OCD. The gap kind of gets smaller at the top because what happened was the first cut that I did when I realized halfway through that I was cutting through the table, I then couldn't line up the saw in exactly the same spot. So I decided to cut from the other end and I was hoping that it would meet in the middle and I would have the exact perfect straight line that obviously I intended to have. But it's obviously not worked out like that because that's why there's a bit of a gap here and it kind of gets smaller at the top there. <sighs> this flooring has taught me many lessons. One that I'm just not good at. Carpentry, I need to improve those skills. If anybody wants to take me on as an apprentice carpenter, let me know, please. I've just gone and picked up this sticks like shit turbo white adhesive all weather so all i'm going to be doing now is sticking this onto the high points of the van and then we're going to get the ply board stuck down let's do this i'm excited to finally get this flooring done it's been four days in the making and the other board might not fit. Oh no, no, no. No, no. Uh, not good. Not good. Thank you, Jesus for this floor going down. That took me about an hour to redo this piece, to make it squeeze in. And now, it's as tight as a nun's you know what. This is the current stage of the flooring, just waiting for the expanding foam to finish drying and also the sealant in between the wood and then we're almost there, I promise you. I'm gonna finish this flooring episode here because it feels like it has been going on forever. For me anyway, personally, it's taken almost four days. Let me know if you guys are enjoying this van build series and also what other videos you would like to see me create alongside these videos because I know at the moment everything is van build, van build, van build. Now we've got a secure, safe, solid foundation with the flooring. I hope anyway, fingers crossed, touch wood. I'm then hopefully in the next few days gonna start installing a roof fan and also the windows. So as always, make sure you head over to my Instagram at Rules Whereabouts and give that a follow because I'm always posting up-to-date live posts about the van conversion and asking you guys for advice and tips along the way. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next video.